All right, well, I just want to make sure you we pick up. Um, I invited the whole tired ass army. We're all here. I want to make sure we all have a good old convo about what's going on. I think there's been a lot of talk about racism and cancel culture is really pumping through this time. So cancel culture decided to pick Doja Cat to be the next victim of being canceled and being thrown to the, the, through the wolves and we're done standing her, we're done. I'm more concerned with the fact that we are canceling her before we even get to understanding what's going on. It's really hard for me to really dig deep into this because this is not just another artist. This is not just another girl we all stand. This is someone that's a part of our community. And this is a tired ass army member also. So this is kind of hard to just be like, girl, you're tired, this is a chop, we're done. I had to step back before everybody else was making videos. I need to step back to see what I was talking about first before I got into the Gigiana. Let's start with the bad stuff, right? I see all the things about her being on some type of chat room where she is saying racial slurs, things of degrading herself with white men. So the first thing I thought, I thought nothing of it. I was like, y'all, okay, girl, I'm sure that she probably owns something and being Doja Cat, because Doja Cat always on live, being crazy. But then I had to read back into it. I'm like, oh, it's a, a chat room with other people. The first story I saw was she was in a chat room with white supremacies and she's in there claiming to be anti-black and saying the N word, hard R, and really going in like how she didn't want to be black and da, 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 da. And I'm like, whoa, this is a lot. So I'm reading and I'm watching the videos and I'm watching the videos that everybody's posting and I'm like, so when did she say, I don't want to be black? I was waiting for that. I did see when she said the N word hard R. And I said, uh oh, uh oh. But she's black. <laughs> I was like, but okay. She's okay, but no, no excuse, no excuse. I was told there was black people in the room too, but we're gonna get to that. So she was saying, suck my D, N word, hard R, right? And they respond, oh my lady, da 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 da. You know, they didn't say anything to. To, to add fuel to the flame and be like, yeah, you are in, you know, you are in word with a hard R and yeah, F N words. Like she, it wasn't that kind of chat room. Okay, I don't see anybody else being like, yeah, you know, are just terrible. <laughs> like I just didn't see, like I didn't see, I didn't see that vibe that everybody was trying to push for. But then that song came up that didn't do nothing song that was buried up from the ashes and that was pushed away. They found that and that term, if you did not know, is derogatory towards black people and, pol and police brutality. Definitely Sandra Bland around that time. Now that took me aback. That took me back because I was like, whoa, um, if this is the case, Doja, I have to look at you a little differently. Is something wrong? Is everything okay? Why are we having this conversation? And you just had a number one record and then it clicked. I said, you just had a number one record. Everybody is going to be on your head. Everything is going to come out. Every and anything. You have all the attention on you right now. So then I got to do some more research. I said, something doesn't fit right with me. I don't see this. I don't see her being a racist. And then I got to thinking, I said, I had a whole conversation with the Tardust Army and Camila Cabello about being racist. Now, this, this conversation is a little different from Camila's because I love Camila, but she made a huge mistake. Being a non-black person, speaking on black things and making a mockery of black people. That was written, that was done. She was younger, this is a whole different situation. I forgiven her, if you haven't, that's you. But I also think that people can grow, I think people can change, I think people can grow into something better. And I think Camila has. And I think with this situation, it was a light-skinned girl, a biracial girl, being painted as a racist because it's easy to do so because she is light-skinned and because she is biracial. So looking into all of this, and I'm thinking that Doja Cat now is around here preaching about not being black or uh, not wanting to be black. So then I got to thinking, well, if that is the case, you gotta dig into her background. Because before you call someone a racist, you have to have con, like you have need concrete evidence. like. Ew. Let me see if she said something that was demeaning towards black people a while ago or maybe now. This is a girl with biracial parents that had a Caucasian mother that raised her and her black father who abandoned her. Hmm. 
I've had this situation in my past with friends in school. Being from Detroit, no, like I said, we did not have a lot of Latinos or white people, so I didn't hear the N-word coming out of a lot of other people's mouths. But because we had a lot of mixed and biracial kids in school, it would be somewhat of an issue when those kids would say the N-word. I remember some light-skinned kids in my school would get picked on or even bullied for saying the N-word or feeling like they're a part of being black because people my skin tone would feel like you don't have the right to say or because your mom is Caucasian or your dad is Caucasian, you don't have the right to say anything. I always personally felt like that was wrong because I always felt like when if you put a drop of black blood into somebody, that just makes them black. That's just me, and that's maybe just me being a proud black person, but I just feel like you mix black with something, girl, they black. <laughs> and that's just what it is, and that's where we at. Some people don't feel like that. Some people feel like that is racism. Or when they say the N-word, it hits a little differently, or maybe coming from a different space because their heart is not the same with two black parents. You know what I'm saying? Then I get to thinking, does Doja Cat really authentically know how to be a black woman? And when I say that, I mean the characteristics, the morals that a black woman would have get on a tiny chat and speaking the way she was speaking or being the way that she is. We don't know if her mom was telling her, hey, your dad isn't nothing. And <laughs> we don't live for him. And she could have equated black, my dad isn't good, I don't like, I don't, that, then black people just ain't it. Who, who knows, maybe her mom taught her, you are black, <laughs> you are a black little girl. Okay, I am white. I can't do much for you when it comes to this. However, you are black. She didn't have that upbringing of, hey, you are a strong black woman and this is da 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 da. We don't know. We don't know which way the pendulum could have went. And she was around white suburban kids being at the computer screen in California. Doja Cat had a different upbringing than me as a black girl though. We still don't remember this as a black girl. So then I got to thinking, I said, so I can't cancel you. I need to understand you. Let me understand you. Let me understand what's going on. Let me see what you're trying to do and why people are trying you like this. So then I get on Twitter and I see everyone canceling her. She's this, she's that, she's this, she's that. Yeah, she's racist and this is just what it is. We've been done new, Doja Cat's over. I said, this is a very coincidental situation. At the time where there is four black women at the top, of course there's division that's gonna come from somewhere. Of course it's gonna be, oh well she's racist or well she doesn't even like black people. I had to be something to rain on the parade. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Some people that are not black do not like to see black people win. So when you have somebody that's mixed, you kinda got black people and white people against you because there are some black people that don't like mixed people. I don't understand why. They just think that they're not authentically black. They don't think they're fully black. So they think that they can't get away with saying half the things that we could say being black. <laughs> why would she be in the chat room? Maybe for attention. And then a paper magazine interview popped up and I said, Hmm, let me see if I can share my screen here. I have a screenshot of her paper mag interview. Uh, okay, listen, this is what she said. They said, according to Doja, she skipped school for days at a time, held up in her bedroom and hanging with the chat room. She spent endless amounts of time engaging in lighthearted play fighting that was the predominant mode of communication in the chat. Back in the day, I used to get in random chat rooms and if you know, you know. I used to get in little monster chat rooms. <laughs> Yes, oh yes, I was like staying back in high school. Gaga used to have chat rooms for Little Monsters and I used to get in there and it was full of just random people. I used to be in there dancing to Judas. So I, you know, in a wig, in my bedroom, talking crazy, being weird. I was a weird kid in Detroit that was listening to pop music in a city that was full of rap. So they were like, girl, it's too many. It was very few people that knew what Gaga was pumping out. So I found people that did knew what Gaga was pumping out. You know what I'm saying? I only can imagine now. They're always going to be filled with people that are weird and people. It's about self-expression and being around people that's not going to judge you for expressing yourself. It continues to say a quote from her. People would pick on me and use horrible, horrible language. Just the worst. I just didn't understand why people were so crazy on there, Doja says. Rather than leaving the chat, she instead developing a thick skin and eventually joined in on the fun via her own offensive rhetoric. And she says, so I became the person who would make offensive jokes and do things sort of out of the box. When I read that, I said, like I said, People would pick on her for being the mixed girl. I can see that very much being around, being raised around a lot of white kids in suburban California. And she's probably been called an N-word, hard R, all her little life, being in California. I can see that very much being the mixed girl around all these white kids. 
Think about it. She finally found chat rooms, but this time she said, uh-uh, I've got to defend myself or stick it for myself some way, sometime. And she used to develop a thick skin and start playing their own game. And then it turned into, oh, I actually like this. This is my this is my comfort zone. I like these people. So even with fame and stuff, she liked to go on chat rooms. And I thought then, if she likes to go on chat rooms with a number on record with her face fully exposed, why would she go on there speaking with white supremacists and being racist and degrading black people? That wouldn't make sense because anybody could leak it at any time. So then the people in the chat room that she was in that night spoke out their damn selves. Let me see if I can pull it up. One guy even said, I didn't hear Doja Cat say anything racist when I was in the chat room. She just vaped and played with a fake R.I. rifle, which AR rifle, what is that? Girl, why would you play with, I don't know. So I didn't understand where any of this stuff is coming from unless it's from a different night. Same guy went on and said, Randomly hung up with Doja Nat on Tiny Chat for a few hours tonight. That was unexpected. So this girl be going into random Tiny Chat rooms and just kicking it with people and talking to people. And then I'm believing one of Doja Cat's fan pages on Twitter DM'd, I think Doja Bat, Chicken, Chicken Nugget or something like that. DM'd Tea Time Chats, which is the chat room that she was on, I'm guessing, and said, I just want to confirm that Doja Cat hasn't said anything racist and she's actually a good person. Do you have anything to say about that? Tea Time Chats replied to say, Doja Cat is a value and respected member of our social community. She is not and never have been racist, nor has she been anything racist in our rooms, which will be noted on our main page shortly. So the site that she partakes all this stuff on is defending her and saying that no, she hasn't said anything racist. We didn't see anything stupid. Well, some more tea even came up. So then the people that was actually in the chat too even talked about it. There's a video about it. You want to see it? Oh yes. Give me one second. Let me pull it up. Uh-huh. Go ahead. The recorded her. Uh, Kane. He's actually a chatter that comes here. He uh, posted some shit saying that she was stripping in the room when she's never been stripped in here. And, and listen, listen, actually she did. Wait, well, I know she, him. Yeah, I've seen did. him in oh. here and he always gets banned because he's a f***ing retard. I mean, she yeah. didn't strip fully naked, but she's definitely, you know. She showed butt. Yeah. But I mean, you can see her butt on like her music videos and her Instagram yeah, and sure. shit. So it's yeah. like... Uh, but no, Ray had a good point last night where this video was taken last Friday and it took over a week to get posted, which is what I replied to a lot of the tweets and stuff like that. You just do the math yourself. It was there's a reason why it took a week to get posted. You know, yep. either it, try to get blackmailed and it failed miserably, or you know they try to send somebody that didn't want to pay for it. And, yeah. I said, I can see her being blackmailed. I can see somebody being like, oh, I'm about to put this bitch on blast, man. Because it's, it's not hard to target a famous person, especially somebody with a number one record. And especially someone arguing with a track record of saying something ignorant to the LGBT community in the past. It's not hard to hate on someone that already has a group of people that do not like this girl and give them some tea to push and give them ammo to push the hate and spread it to a point where it's trending and say Doja Cat is over party. This is the part of cancel culture that I don't understand and I never will understand. Why don't we do research? Why don't people dig first before we say cancel Doja Cat? This girl makes too much good music. This girl is a really good artist. Y'all see racist completely. Like that's just what it is. That's what it is. And we don't see nothing past that. No explanations, no nothing. It's just racism. And she don't want to be black. Hmm. Seems like that's an image painted on someone because they are light-skinned and because they are biracial and it's easy to put that picture on them, being honest. So then the, do, the didn't do nothing situation came up and that hurt my heart. But then the lyrics kind of say something different. After the intro, she goes on to saying, I'm a degenerate, degenerate, lost the physical, mental, or moral qualities considered normal and desirable. I'm a degenerate, smoke all your cannabis because during that, they associate POC with marijuana. So she's speaking on behalf of black people and every black person smokes weed. So she was defending that and she used that song and she used that title, Didn't Do Nothing, which I'm saying, I'm guessing she's speaking on behalf of black people really didn't do nothing, but she used that title and used it, tried to use a derogatory term as a term of endearment that black people or people of color literally didn't do nothing and y'all tried to put something on us. But because of this whole situation, and that song was never released, by the way, because of the title, because the title is very offensive. I'm thinking of Kanye. I'm thinking of people that used like crazy titles to get attention to the song. If that's how Doja Cat usually is, she's a troll, she's an attention grabber, that's what she does. I didn't expect nothing less from her titling her songs. You know what I'm saying? She made a song called Tia Tamara, and it's about titties. Like, come on now, come on now. So I say all of this to say, Tardis Army, you can feel how you would like to feel. I'm only, I'm only giving you the tea that I have. I looked at both perspectives and I've come to this conclusion. I don't think my girl is racist. I don't think my girl 
hates to be black, but I do maybe feel that because she is raised by a Caucasian woman and because that is more of her background than me as a black man that was raised by a predominantly black family, I can see where she may have differences. And maybe we don't know what kind of trauma she's been through. And there's a lot, a lot of, there's a lot of mixed people out there that have a lot of problems with digesting their both sides of their heritage or where they come from. She could've went to therapy for this. We don't know if she went through trauma because of this, bullying and all of this about being a mixed girl. So I do think maybe she does have some issues to work out with about that. Other than that, I don't see an issue here. And I think we should continue to stream her music and get down, because I'm going to, in the shadows, even if y'all feel like she's canceled. I was gonna come up here and be like, well, I'm about to be one of them girls that's about to listen to her songs in the shadows and secretly still stand, because the music is too good to give up. I'm sorry. Unless she comes out, when she does speak up about this, hopefully you do, because girl, don't try to sit back and act like it's gonna go away. Unless she come out and be like, I do not like black people. Yes, I am a racial supremacist. I don't like it. I want to be white. And I will be sitting right by this girl listening to her songs and jamming. You do know something about lies, right? You put enough energy behind it, it could become a truth. Your truth, not necessarily the actual truth. That's what lies can turn into. All right, I'm gonna get up out of here. I think I said my piece. I will talk to you guys later. I'll be watching. <laughs> Bye, y'all.